Hi, I'm Levi. I'm Stephanie. This is Atticus. This is Tanner. And this is little Adelaide. And, and this, this is, is our, our home team. team. I'm in the Air Force, uh, been in for about seven years now. So, you know, naturally that takes us to different places. So, you know, Lord just brought us here, uh, kind of figuring out where we're expected to go. And uh, a friend of mine that was coming here at the time, uh, Joel Breedlove, he uh, told us we should come out to this church, said it was a great church, and, and we came. And as soon as we walked through the doors, we were just, you know, welcomed with open arms. And it didn't even seem like we were visitors at the time, honestly. It just felt like, you know, we had been going there for a while. You know, everybody just welcomed us. And there was that instant camaraderie, uh, I felt. Um, we kind of was like, you know, we've been friends with them and that just kept us coming back. It was very scary for us, um, especially, you know, just getting back into church in, 20, in 2020. Um, you know, we had been out of church for so long um, and then coming back, you know, there's that, that little bit of standoffish feeling that, you know, like, are they going to welcome me? Are they going to, you know, know me? Um, so, you know, that, that, that come with a little bit of hesitancy to you know, try to become a member at a new church. Um, and that was very scary for us um, and in our marriage as well. So when I had first joined the military, um, and this is, this is probably the biggest thing uh, in our lives, you know, our biggest testimony is that when I first joined the military, I didn't see my family for a total of 18 months. I saw them for 13 days out of that entire time frame, And, you know, naturally that, that brings a little bit of strain. Um, we, we kind of, you know, distance ourselves from each other. And, you know, we were, we were on the, the verge of, of divorce, um, in all honesty, um, by the time I had come back in 2020. But, you know, I had gotten back in church while I was gone. And, you know, I was trying to rectify the situation that, you know, I had put us in. And, um, but, you know, I just kept praying and, and kept praying, like, you know, if this is your will, Lord, you know, like change it because since we were that far apart from each other, it was hard for me to get back into church little by little, but I knew I had to get back into it, not just for me, but for them too, for my two boys to know to grow in a church as well. Thankfully, when Levi got back, um, like how you said, like we were on the verge of divorce and everything, um, we were praying to God to see if it was his will or not. and. Because of that, I think, I, I feel like our marriage just grew stronger and stronger by the years. We both got back in church, kind of rekindled our marriage, but, um, you know, we went to different churches sporadically, you know, just to be able to, you know, have have something uh, of a spiritual life and, and you know, our, our family, but, uh, you know, we didn't have, you know, an, an actual uh, home church. But I think, you know, we found that home after coming to Goodlitzville and small groups is really what cemented us wanting to be members here. Uh, you know, obviously we came here through the doors and, you know, we were welcomed with open arms. Um, but when we first started small groups, you know, went in there with a little bit of nervousness. And, you know, being at the Wilkerson's, you know, they, they really showed us, you know, what Goodlitzville was really about. And that really solidified, like, yeah, we, we want to keep going here. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you know, Atticus, uh, he became really good friends with Mason and Levi here at church. Mm -hmm. And soon after he got baptized and then at VBS, he got the Holy Ghost um, with Mason uh, Wilkerson. And that was just, you know, I, I came home from work that day and it was, it was a late night and he got home from VBS and I just kind of got home at the same time he did. And he's like, hey, I have something to tell you. I was like, what's up, bud? It's like, I got the Holy Ghost today. So, you know, that is, you know, you always look inside and try to figure out if you're doing anything right, you know, as a father and, and you know, leading your family the right way, especially in church. So knowing that that was something that was in his heart to not only get baptized, but to seek the Lord in that way, it, it kind of told me, you know, I am doing something right. You know, I am, I am leading my family in the best way I know how. Yeah, you know, life has different seasons, you know, you know, different, different trials and tribulations that, you know, all families go through. We've definitely gone through them. Um, but I, I, again, you know, I think, you know, being able to connect with the families that we have here and especially at, at small groups have, have helped us, you know, even to have like somebody to text, you know, like when you're going through something or you're just having like a stressful day, that, that's gone a long way since we've been here. And I know that's best for me. I know that's best for my family. And, 
in our walk with God because this is our home team.